this is this right here is obviously where Jonathan harvested the raceway. So mm. if we went out before, you can see these ascending peaks of green. Mm -hmm. And then it gets to a level where it levels off or starts to drop. That's when we know that we should harvest the algae because oh, it's starting to die. Mm. So we, right as it hits its peak, it can't get enough light, there's nutrients starved, and mm. we drop it. Mm -hmm. And then we re-inoculate the tank and get it started with the mm. again. So the idea of looking for those patterns in the data mm. and figuring how to apply them mm. to uh, kind of making the system more mm -hmm. efficient mm -hmm. is kind of one of the things we're doing. Another thing that we'll see, we'll see, um, let me escape from here, is the have this color thing here. Now there's a little variation. This is like when the sun's up, but mm -hmm. if we went back even more, like for 30 days or so, let's go back. I don't want to bore you guys to death with this stuff. This, but you can see when we first inoculated mm -hmm. the raceway, it was kind of yellowish. Mm -hmm. And then you know, the, the light bands or the daytime and the dark bands are the nighttime. Mm -hmm. But you can see it progressing towards being greener and greener. Mm -hmm. So we can correlate that data with the pH data and mm -hmm. the light level data and all that. We can find all kinds of really interesting patterns that will help us uh, you know, improve the system. Mm 